Hey guys, it's Sarah and I am about to get started on Kaylin's school album. So this is going to be her fourth grade year. Now I do have videos for all of the rest of her album for, you know, kindergarten through third. So if you guys want to, <clears throat> sorry, check those out, then I will have a playlist link down below where it has all those process videos and also kind of an introduction into you know, how I'm doing my album, but basically I'm doing a project lifestyle album. Just the same as I did Layla's, which I posted her first grade year um, last week. So I have all of Kaylin's stuff that I wanted to keep and put in here and pictures and everything. So I have that ready to go. And then um, as you can see, Kaylin has a couple more pictures in here since she is going into fifth grade now. So I'll probably put her fifth grade picture here and it'll be kind of a progression from kindergarten to fifth grade. And I'm using style A for the Becky Higgins Project Life. And then I also do the style D as well, which is basically style A flipped on its side. So it has, you know, different orientations, but still the same size pictures. And I have Kaylin's, you know, all the way up until third grade done. And I'm going to start on fourth grade here. So, um, this will be it and I have my post-its ready to go I have everything written down I know exactly where everything is going to be and I just have to start the process so I'm going to take my page protectors out so that my big album's not on the table um, and then I will go ahead and get started I hope you enjoy it again if you want more details about the rest of this album or you want to see my process for the other videos just click on the playlist down below and you can see those but I'm going to go ahead and get started on Kaylin's fourth grade all right, so the first thing I'm going to do is take these out of the page protectors so that it's a lot easier to work with. And I am going to start by taking everything that I had set aside that I know I want to put in here and I'm picking out everything that needs to go here. So all the pictures and all of the little extra goodies that I'm going to put on here and I'm just picking everything out. All right, so I'm gonna just work on these just like a Project Life card or a Project Life spread. I just kind of pick a card and start going. This is her first day of school and that's a picture of her and I'm putting that right there next to the Adore. And then I'm stamping the date which was August 14th of 2017. And I'm going to add, I believe an arrow and I might do a little bit of journaling on here as well. But I'm using some Simple Stories uh, school stickers and then I have a couple of the October Afternoon Daily Flash school themed packs as well. A sticker sheet and a little die cut pack and I'm going to be using those throughout the spread. So I do have uh, one arrow here and then I have another little arrow that says check it and I'm going to overlap those together and then yeah I do do some journaling here. Probably saying and she's so excited to start fourth grade because she was. <laughs> and then this one here already says fourth grade on it. And I had gone through and picked out all the cards for Kaylin from kindergarten up until senior year of high school. And I used the Simple Stories Snap alphabet stickers to spell all those out so that it's all cohesive. So those are already done. And... Uh, I'm kind of glad I took the time to do that. Now I also use these little circular numbers that I used in Layla's as well. I just use them in a different way for Kaylin. And um, Kaylin's are a little bit more random. I kind of put them just in other places, whereas Layla's is always on the first card. It's kind of her intro card. Now uh, here I cut down this little piece and it says, welcome to Mrs. Ford's class. And that was on her desk at orientation. So I just kept that. And then for the fourth, I'm sticking that right down here in the corner of a picture of her at her desk. And I am going to uh, use it that way. So that's her at her desk on the first day of school. This one here is her Valentine that she chose. And I'm gonna go ahead and stick that right here. And usually these say Valentine on them, so I don't ever have to do any journaling or anything. I just like to include those so that they can kind of see what they were into at the time. I think it'll be interesting to see how they grow. And then on the bottom here, this one is a little referral that she got for helping clean up something without being asked. 
and um, so her teacher gave her a little referral for that so I'm just cutting this down to a four by six and I will stick it directly on there and then I also have her little nameplate which was on her desk and I'm going to stick that onto a four by six card and just put that there and I'm just using uh, a lined card from Project Life nothing fancy so go ahead and stick that on there and then cut it down and I really like having those in there okay and that is going to be it for this one and then I'm gonna go ahead and switch it out and start on the next one here and for this one I'm gonna put her yearbook picture right there um, and then a picture of this her science fair project so the whole right hand side is going to be science fair and then there's going to be a couple little things um, in the center here as well so I'll kind of go through that as we're going along I'm trying to figure out what it was I wanted to put there and then I found it because <laughs> it said handwritten note and I was like where is that handwritten note and it was just hiding it was on the back so um, but that's a little note that her teacher wrote to her thanking her for the Christmas gift that she gave her and I like to save all that stuff because you know that means a lot all right now I'm picking out four cards to go down the center so I'm looking through all the three by four cards and uh, just picking out some things that are going to go nicely I'm going to need a couple for journaling here and then a couple that are just going to house other things so they can be some sort of pattern. I'm just going to need them to be able to attach those to it. But I do need two of them for journaling so I had to make sure I had something with lines and since they're going horizontally instead of vertically I had to find something that kind of had a grid pattern otherwise the journaling cards had you know the lines were not going to be going the right way for writing so it's a little bit tricky sometimes all right this one right here is her school supply list and I just printed it off and put it on that I always like to include those because I like to see how they're going to change throughout the years and then you know when they're older they can kind of look back and remember what they had to buy for school this one is going to be about a field trip that they took to a local park and they went fishing so I am using these really tiny basic gray letter stickers and I have enough to be able to write out field trip I didn't have any R's so I just took a capital J and turned it upside down so it looks like an R <laughs> and the L is actually a seven that I turned upside down so I had to make a couple little adjustments there but it still you know says field trip no problem so I am writing about that and it, the Friday card was perfect because they did take their field trip on a Friday so uh, I'm just writing about her experience going fishing she didn't end up catching anything but a couple people did and they got to talk about the fish and um, you know talk about what they were and all that stuff so that was pretty interesting and she loved it and now I am going to use these Teresa Collins little tiny alphabet stickers to spell out the words spelling bee because Le or Kaylin um, decided to participate in the spelling bee for the second time in fourth grade and she did really really well she ended up in the top 10 out of 50 plus kids I think and it was uh, I think it was third fourth and fifth I believe I think third grade was included and she ended up in the top 10 I think she she went out as number nine I think so we were really proud of her <laughs> that was pretty pretty far to go she was the last fourth grader left so um, pretty proud of that girl and so I have a picture of her at the microphone spelling a word and then uh, the journaling is above it and then I'm gonna pull out these letters again and I'm gonna spell go Kaylin go along the side here in these little letters And then I'm going to work on my larger ones here. So I'm going to cut this out and make it as close to a four by six as I can. And I'm gonna have a little bit of that card peeking out. So stick that down there. 
Then over here is the science fair. So all of fourth and fifth grade were required to participate in the science fair. And we kind of picked a experiment. It was a little difficult <laughs> for us to come up with something good, um, but we ended up trying to grow plants in uh, two different locations or three different locations to see um, how they would grow the best. And actually none of our plants ended up growing at all. So I don't know if it was maybe the time of year um, that just wasn't good for growing anything because we tried to grow some flowers, but they just, yeah, they didn't work out. So um, the experiment wasn't very successful, but she at least, you know, made the effort and tried and she made the board and, you know, had all that stuff. So um, she got a participant ribbon. So I put that down there and then cut it down and then had the back little, you know, description on there on the bottom. And then I have a picture of her with her board. All right. So now onto the back here. I'm going to do her spring picture along with a couple of other little things here. A lot of this is going to be schoolwork. And then I have a picture that is there that is print that was printed from the school. She got student of the month. And so they take their pictures and kind of hang them in the halls. And that was from her student of the month. So I'm just going to cut that down to a four by six. And um, I'm going to have it's going to end up looking, you know, I'm going to cut off one of her arms just because there's not enough room. <laughs> it was a very big picture, but uh, you can see she's holding her little student of the month keychain. So she still has that on her backpack, actually, even though we're at a completely different school, <laughs> but she liked it. Um, and then I'm going to do some journaling on here because I, you know, just looking at it, it's hard to tell what it is. So I'm writing down student of the month on a little piece of cardstock and I'll cut that out and stick it on there. cut it into a little banner and then stick that on the bottom here. And then I'm going to use one of these little arrows as well. And I think it says well done or good job or something. And then this little picture here, uh, they were talking about the brain and the different areas of the brain and all that. And then they ended up coloring in different sections of the brain in different colors. And I just thought it was a really cool picture. So I am going to cut that down and I have to cut it down quite a bit. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep the whole brain intact there and still got to cut it down a little bit more, but finally get it to work. So that's going to go in here. And then up here, I'm going to have, I believe, a vocabulary test. Those were big for Kaylin in fourth grade. It was vocabulary, not just spelling. It was vocabulary as well. And that, that was kind of more the focus. So um, I put one of those in there and kept the grade up there. And then um, along the center here, I'm going to have a couple little things. So there, were, this one right here was a math thing where when they reached some of their goals that they set for themselves, they wrote a little note to the principal letting her know that they had reached their goals and then she would always write way to go and sign it and stuff. So that was really cute. And then um, this one here is another like math worksheet, just kind of some examples of what they were working on during school, doing a lot of problem solving and long division uh, was something that they started doing there. So I believe that's what this is. It's like long division. And then here, <clears throat> excuse me, was a little Christmas gift from her teacher and it was good for one homework assignment, like you could get out of one assignment and she used that sucker up right away. <laughs> so, um, so I thought that was cute. That was a cute little gift. And then for her spring picture, I am going to, oh, actually, no, I'm going to work on the top one. I don't remember exactly what I wrote for that though let me see so I have a frame a frame card and I'm just not sure I'm not remembering what it was that I talked about here let's see let's see if I can figure it out oh um Yes, it was a quote from her teacher. So she always talked about her teacher being really funny and they made them laugh. She made them laugh all the time. And 
So I asked Kaylin what her favorite quote was from her teacher. Like, what's something that she says all the time and it always makes you laugh? And she said, um, mind your own beeswax. So I wrote about that and then put mind your own beeswax in those Teresa Collins letters again. So that was kind of her favorite. Okay, so now for the spring picture, I am pulling out some washi tape and I like this blue here. It's going to help uh, bring out the blue in the paper in the center and then there's some blue in the brain as well and I folded over and realized oops <laughs> I'm using the same card so I'm gonna just kind of tuck that under um, luckily washi tape is pretty forgiving and I'm going to go ahead and stick her picture right there and then I am going to add a sticker I believe I'm going to find a sticker that has a pencil on it so I'm going to stick that down along the bottom and I will also put spring pick on there as well. And I believe I'm going to use the snap alphabet letters again. And then a star as well. And then I'm realizing I haven't put spring pick on there and I always do that. So I'm gonna be consistent. So I'm gonna use these blue um, snap alphabet letter stickers and then spell out spring pick right along the side here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and stick that back in there. And that completes that side. And now I'm going to do the last part. And this is usually a whole bunch of, you know, last day of school and kind of end of the year things. Uh, so that picture up there is Kaylin getting an award. She got a math award. This right here is some examples of her typing. They started learning how to type and use the computers um, and work on typing skills and kind of, you know, placing where you put your fingers and how to memorize where the stuff, where the keys are and all that. So they had to type a little bit of a teeny tiny assignment there. So I am, I kept the part that she had typed and then I'm doing my journaling on there that I'm just really glad that they're learning that skill in school. I think it's such a great skill to have. And I love that they're starting them young to start doing that. I don't remember typing until I was in high school. So <laughs> I'm glad they're starting them younger for sure. And she loves doing it. So, um, and then I'm going to add that washi that I had on her spring pick again, just to keep it a little bit consistent there and kind of have the separation between her typing and my handwriting. And then I am going to put a little uh, die cut on this picture here and it says study buddies and I just thought that was really cute those are two girls from her class and those are two girls that she really got along with really well so I'm gonna uh, put that on this picture and then this is her and her teacher and I always do a little banner a little white cardstock banner with the teacher's name and I swear I had a little piece of cardstock somewhere and I cannot find it anywhere and it's driving me nuts so I'm gonna have to go find it <laughs> but um, this is a little thank you card that her teacher gave her on the last day of school because um, Kaylin got her the tumbler that she's holding in that picture that's right next to it actually and um, so she wrote her little thank you card and so I stuck it onto a four by six card and then had the opening outside of the page protector so you could just flip it up and read it without having to take it out. So, um, and then, I, okay, there's my banner for her teacher. So I wrote her teacher's name down there. And then for this one, I need to find another four by six card. So I'm gonna find another one to stick her picture on. And then that's her um, gift that she got her teacher and it's actually it's a tumbler and I had it made and it says tears of my students and um that's just the kind of humor that her teacher had and I'm really happy because that's the same kind of humor I have and she laughed so much when Kaylin gave her that um and then she had to stop me at school too and she was like I am in love with that tumbler I cannot wait to use it <laughs> so it was just funny um but I'm writing teacher gift on that so I'm talking about that gift there this is the girls last day of school pictures so I'm going to um, 
put this on here too and I'm putting school memories and then I think I am writing yep I wrote last day on a piece of cardstock and I'm just gonna cut that out and stick that on there as well and then the last card is going to be a little note from myself to Kaylin and I always do that at the end just a little I can't believe another year has gone by and you know please stop growing up I can't handle this anymore all that good stuff and uh, Kaylin is now has now started her last day of, her last year of elementary school and I just can't even believe it oh I'm a baby <laughs> but uh, yeah so I'm gonna write this card out and then stick that in there and then that is going to be her fourth grade year so I will come back live here in just a second and do a little flip through for you of everything all together in the album Okay guys, I am done with Kaylin's fourth grade year and I'm so happy. All right, so um, the first side here was, you know, like her first day and her signature, which I include every year for the girls. This is a little um, welcome to Mrs. Ford's class that was on her desk for the first day and her at her desk. Her Valentine that she chose this year, I always include their Valentines that they give to their class. This was a cute little referral that she got for um, helping clean up something that was left outside. And so she got um, a little reward for that from her teacher and then her nameplate. This was a worksheet that she did, a test actually, um, on cities in New Mexico. She had to know where the cities were. They got a blank map with the dots and then she had to label where the cities were. So I thought that was kind of cool, you know, cause we lived there at the time. So that was fun. Um, this was a little musical that they did. It was more like a song and dance type thing. And I didn't get any pictures from it cause it was really dark in there and I just, the pictures were not gonna come out. So, but I do have the program for it. Um, that was for music. And then her yearbook picture, her science fair stuff, and a note from her teacher, which I love that she hand wrote that out so I could put it in here. Um, school supplies, field trip information. She was in the spelling bee, so I put that there. She was student of the month one month, so I have her picture that they put up in the hallway. They sent that home, so I had to cut that way down because <laughs> it was huge. Um, this was just like a brain thing that they were studying the brain and had to color in certain areas for, you know, whatever the areas of the brain are. Um, her spring picture, a vocabulary quiz, some math examples that they were doing. She started long division. Um, for Christmas, her teacher gave her a good for one free homework assignment, so I kept that. And then this was a favorite quote from her teacher that she loved. Um, this is spring picture again with the class picture in here as well. I just covered that up because I don't want to show anyone's kids without them knowing. But um, that uh, awards that she got at the end of the year, a math award. This was typing that they started learning in school, which I thought was really cool. So I divided this with washi tape and then wrote my own journaling about how I'm really happy they're learning how to type. Uh, that's her getting her math award. Um, a couple of her friends from class, her teacher, the girls together on the last day of school, my little note to her. This was her teacher gift and I just did some journaling about that. And then the thanks from her teacher for the gift. Um, and I kept this out aside. So it's in here on a card, but I kept it out so that we, you can kind of flip it up and see, because I really like the outside of the card too. And so I just have it so it can kind of go up. But um, yeah, that is it. So Kaylin's fourth grade year is done. I am really happy that it's complete and done. And uh, she has now started fifth grade, <laughs> just last year of elementary school. Oh my gosh, my baby's getting big. I just can't believe it. All right, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, if you want to see any more of this particular album and of my other daughter Layla's album as well, who just started second grade, I have um, a playlist linked down below so you guys can go and check all of that out. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you again soon. Bye.